Okay guys, um, this week's lesson is on double and half angle formulas and there'll be two parts today so there'll be two videos so this is part one and you'll need to watch part two to finish the assignment. The assignment's over here on page 688, these particular problems and then these are the formulas, these are the double angle formulas right here that we'll be working with on part one. So we're kind of just substituting in. You'll notice that um, sine has one option for it. Tangent of two times an angle has one option, but cosine of two times an angle, you have three different choices, and we'll talk about how I choose the particular one I chose for the problem we're doing, okay? All right, here is our problem. Um, it's given to us that sine of x is five over eight, and x is in quadrant two, so I've gone ahead and drawn my circle, done Pythagorean theorem, and found the value for x in this problem, which is negative root 39. And notice that it's negative because it's going to the left, so you'd have to pay attention to that. Your Pythagorean theorem won't tell you that. All right, we have three parts A, B, and C. A is sine of 2x. So all I did is copy the formula. It's 2 times sine of x and cosine of x. But I want you to pay attention to what we're doing. <clears throat> angle x is really this large, and we're doing 2 times that. So we're finding sine of the angle that would be down there somewhere. You can see that it would definitely be in the bottom two quadrants. So it would be a negative value. And these formulas take care of all that like, kind of complicated work. And they'll just have, have that value for you. You don't have to worry about it. But, but it's doing very complicated things like we talked about on the last lesson. All right? So sine of 2 times the angle is going to be 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. All right? Sine of x, they told me, was 5 over 8, but it's opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of x is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, negative root 39 over 8. All right, I'll keep all my, my things together here. This is 2 over 1. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times that is negative 10 root 39. 8 times 8 on the bottom is 64. I can divide those by 2. It's going to be negative 5 root 39 over 32. You can see my writing has not improved. All right. Anyway, so it's really just about plugging in and simplifying on this stage. Okay, cosine of 2x. I have three different versions here. Okay, since I've done my triangle, like some use cosine, some use sine, some uses both. I have both values, so I could use any of those I want. My answers would look different, but all be equivalent. Okay, since they gave me sine of x already, I went ahead and you chose this one with the sine. If I didn't have my circle, I would want to do that rather than going to do the extra work. They've given me sine, I can just plug it in right there. Okay, so that's why I chose this particular one. Okay, so cosine of two times the angle equals one minus two times sine squared. Well, sine of the angle they gave me was five over eight. This will be one minus two. We square this before we multiply. 25 over 64. I'm going to cancel my 2 with my 64. That will be 32. This 1 will become 32 over 32, making a common denominator, minus 25 over 32. And 32 minus 25 is 7. So the answer is 7 over 32. And it's a positive value, which it would be. Right. Okay, part C, here we go, tangent of 2x. Again, there's only one choice for the formula, so I'm just plugging in these values. I want to note tangent of twice this angle is, okay? But I can use it using the double angle formula by using just the angle that I do have. Right. So this one equals 2 times tangent of x. Well, if I come up here, tangent is opposite over adjacent. It's 5 over negative root 39. Okay, uh, I'm going to caution you, you're wasting your time to simplify this right now, just wait till the end, we'll see where we get. If I simplify it now, chances are I'm going to have to go back and do it all again later. Okay, 1 minus, we just did tangent, this is tangent squared, so it's that same value. 5 over negative root 39, and that is going to be squared. Okay, let's take care of the top. This is 2 over 1. I multiply across. That's going to be a negative value. It's 10 over root 39. Okay? I'm going to square this. 
this becomes 1 minus 25. A negative squared is positive. Root 39 squared is going to be a regular 39. 39. Okay, and I'm going to add this together and get this here. So I'm going to change this right now. This 1 will become 39 over 39 minus 25 is going to get me 7 over 39. All right, and this particular one, I like to just clean it up here, but this particular one is easy for you to see what you need to clean up by writing out the long version. This is negative 10 over root 39 divided by 7 over 39. As you know, for fractions, when I divide, I'm going to flip the second one and multiply. This is negative 10 over root 39 multiplied by 39 over 7. Okay, and this is going to give me negative 390 over 7 root 39. It's pretty messy. I've got to clean up root 39, so I'll multiply by that root 39 over root 39, and that'll get me my answer here, which is going to be negative 390 root 39 over, and this will be a 7, these two, root 39 times root 39 makes a regular 39. And 7 times 39, put my calculator back here. Oh, and I shouldn't have done that, I can look in ahead here. I can see that my 39 would cancel with my, my values up here. So let me, let me go ahead and do that and then I'll reduce it. But 7 times 39, actually I'll leave it, I'll leave it just like that. This is 7 times 39. Okay, and my 39 will cancel. It's a regular number with this. That will give me a 10 up there. So now my finished answer is going to be negative 10 root 39 over 7. And that's my answer for that value. Okay, that's part one. Look for part two coming up next. Thanks.